Okay, in this video we're going to examine some properties of tangent lines with circles. Okay? So let's get started. Remember the tangent line is a line that intersects the circle, the circumference of the circle, at one spot. And one and only one spot. In this case it would be point B. Okay, so again, tangent lines intersect a circle at one and only one point. So that's one of the properties, or one of the definitions, if you want, of a tangent line. So in this case, line segment in this case would be AB. So, okay, so we'll just say line segment AB. Remember, you do a line segment by just putting a straight line with no arrows. The other properties of tangent lines is that they always form 90 degree angles with the center of the circle, in this case, B and O. Okay, so angle ABO would be a 90 degree angle, which effectively in this particular example forms a right triangle, okay? But let's just go ahead and write that down. So tangent lines, a tangent line forms a 90 degree angle with the center of the circle. Now, center of the circle. Now, because we know these two facts, we can answer a number of questions, for example, about this. Oh, I should have given you one more piece of information. I should have said this was 12 inches. Okay, so if from A to B is a line segment, the tangent line segment is 12 inches, and from B to O is 5 inches, the question might be here, for example, we, what is the length of AO or AD? Okay, so that's what we want to find. Find line segment DO and find line segment AD. Now, we know something. We know that from O to D is basically just the radius of the circle, and we determined the radius of the circle is just five inches. So we know that DO equals five inches because it is a radius. And we were able to determine that from information that was given to us before. Now, the other thing we can do Whoops, let me just leave that as five inches. The other thing we can do is we notice that we have a right triangle. So we can use to find AD, or let's just find AO, actually. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And we're going to say five squared, the short side, plus this side, which is 12 squared, should equal AO squared. Once we find AO, we're going to subtract the 5 inches here, and we'll get the distance from A to D. So you see my plan? So let's go ahead and figure this out. We know that 5 squared is 25. We know that 12 squared is 144. And again, that's going to equal AO lines squared. This is going to give me 169. We're going to take the square root of both sides. Let me just go ahead and put these, one, these steps in here because I like to keep track of my steps. We're going to take the square root of both sides, and we're going to say the square root of 169 should equal AO. And the square root of 169 happens to be 13. That's great information because now we can find that AD, it would be 13 
minus this 5. So this line segment, the distance from A to the closest point in the circle, will be 13 minus 5, or 8 inches. And let's just put that in there. Line segment AD is equal to this, which is just AO minus DO. Okay, so notice how we were able to use the tangent line and the information there to find the right triangle and then use the Pythagorean theorem, okay? Let me show you another example of what we could do here. So here's another example of what we could do. We could actually find the internal angles of a circle if we have enough information. Now in this case, we know, for example, that AB is a tangent line because it looks like it's intersecting at one spot. Since it's a tangent line, it forms a right angle with the center of the circle. So let's, we know that this point is 90 degrees. And it looks like this line is a diameter, which goes all the way through to here. Okay? Now, if this is true, then we also have another right triangle. But that does not, that's not going to necessarily help us. What we're going to use, we're going to use the information that any, the internal... Uh, interior angles of any triangle equals 180 degrees, okay? So interior angles of any triangle equals 180 degrees. We happen to know these two, so we know that angle ACB, this angle right here, which is one that we're looking for, should be equal to 40 plus 90 plus x which is my unknown and that should equal 180 degrees. This will be equal to 130 plus x equals 180 subtract 130 from both sides and you should get x is equal to 50 degrees. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Just remember that you can use the property of a tangent line uh, to find this particular angle, but then we also know that many times it forms a right triangle with uh, the point that's the vertex that's outside the circle itself. Hope this was helpful.